Now, where to begin? My mother named me Enola, which backwards spells alone. And yet, we were always together. And it was wonderful. Enola Holmes, released in 2020, brings a new twist to the Sherlock Holmes story. Millie Bobby Brown stars as Enola, that Sherlock Holmes' younger sister, in a new story that I hope will be the first of many films from the books of Nancy Springer. A week ago, I awoke. Mother? To find that my mother was missing, and she did not return. I'm presently on the way to collect my brothers, Mycroft and Sherlock. Yes, Sherlock Holmes, the famous detective, my genius brother. He will have all the answers. Enola. Millie is excellent as Enola. She brings great passion and energy to the role. She's joined on the cast by Helena Bonham Carter, who plays her mother, Louis Partridge, who plays Lord Tewkesbury, and Henry Cavill as Sherlock Holmes, and Sam Claflin as his older brother, Mycroft. Originally planned to be released by Warner Brothers theatrically early in 2020, the film was put on ice for the time being because of Covid and then the rights for distribution were sold to Netflix and so now the film is only available on Netflix but in many ways that's great because it brings it to an audience and it means we get to see it and enjoy it and see the terrific performances as well as the fantastic production design really recreating Victorian London extremely well. The story centres around Enola who's growing up with her mother at home. Her older brothers Sherlock and Mycroft have already left home so it's just Enola and her mother who's homeschooling her in botany, science, literature and martial arts. Now these skills really come in handy especially one morning when Enola wakes up, goes downstairs and finds that her mother who's got some secrets of her own has mysteriously disappeared. She's waiting for her brothers to come back who are going to take over the household and take control of her but she wants to escape, get out of there and go and search for her mother. So one morning she sneaks out and sets off for London. And it's while she's on that train that she bumps into Lord Tewkesbury, who's running away from home, played wonderfully by Louis Partridge. When they reach London, they go their separate ways, and Enola is desperate to find her mother. She tracks down where her mother has been hiding. It's a martial arts school, and she talks to some of the staff there and discovers that there are even more secrets than she had feared. Secret ammunitions are being hidden somewhere, and her mother, clearly a suffragette, is planning a big operation in London. Mycroft and Sherlock are not having this. Mycroft in particular, as her ward, is determined to get her back. He puts out a big reward, enlists the police, and they track down Enola, and she's packed off to a finishing school to put some good manners into the girl. Now, Enola, who's absolutely emancipated, at least in her own mind, is desperate to find her own way in life, breaks free of all of that, escapes, and continues the journey in London. Enola, who's a little bit of a tomboy on her own, is disguised as a proper Victorian lady. She bumps into Tewkesbury at Covent Garden. Now, Tewkesbury, a bit of a secret botanist, and he's there with some of the flower sellers, so it's a bit of an obvious spot to find him there. Together, they go hand in hand and try and track down why Tewkesbury's being chased and people are trying to kill him, while she, on the other hand, is trying to find her mother, and they help each other out with their mutual investigations. It's a rip-roaring, tremendous adventure. Now, it's not the first time that they've tried to put a new spin on the Sherlock Holmes story. In the 1940s, you had Basil Rathbone and Nigel Bruce in a great set of 14 films that put Holmes, most of the films at least, put Holmes into the 20th century. In the 60s, there was The Private Life of Sherlock Holmes, directed by Billy Wilder. And then in the 80s, Spielberg and young Sherlock Holmes, and more recently, Sherlock from the BBC. So it's not a new theme, but this really is an original, well thought out, well constructed story. It's based in Victorian England, so a lot of those values you expect from a Sherlock Holmes story are really there. It's beautifully shot, wonderfully acted, the scenes and settings of Victorian London authentically recreated, a bit of CGI here, and some great location choice there, really give you a tremendous sense and feel for the whole film. Now this is the first of a set of films, hopefully, from the books by Nancy Springer. Now, they sound like tremendous books, written for young adults, but I think appreciated by people of all ages. If you love Sherlock Holmes, you're really going to love Enola Holmes. It's available only on Netflix for now, maybe that'll change in the future. But it really is a heartwarming, wonderful story. Millie is excellent as Enola. She really cuts through, and at times is cutting through the fourth wall, talking directly to the audience. And that engagement with you as that audience member doesn't feel odd, doesn't feel strange. It's part of the character, and you feel pulled into the story. You feel you're part of it, part of the journey. And that helps make it feel 
even more special. So I'd highly recommend Enola Homes. At the moment it's only available on Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, maybe you could do a free trial and watch it that way. But either way, try and get to see it. It's a terrific film, well worth going to see, and hopefully it's the first of many more to come. <laughs>